You know, as we're navigating our time in God's Word in these morning devotions, we're spending some time in the epistles. These letters, these writings, primarily of the Apostle Paul, to some of the early churches in the first century. And just like today's church, well, that church, just like this generation, that generation, navigated so many ups and downs, so many questions, and even concerns. One of the questions that the Corinthians had about Paul was, you know, who validates or who authenticates your ministry? And he shares, well, your very lives, they authenticate. You're like a, a living letter, an epistle for us. And also, ultimately, it's God who validates us in our ministry. And I wanna read this to you because I find it so interesting that you and I, we do not need to look to anyone or anything other than the Lord to find our identity. Listen to what he writes in 2 Corinthians chapter three. He says in verse three, clearly, you are a letter from Christ showing the result of our ministry among you. This letter is not written with pen and ink, but with the spirit of the living God. It's not carved on tablets of stone, but on human hearts. He goes on to say in verse four, we're confident of all this because our great trust is in God through Christ. It's not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. Our qualification comes from God. He has enabled us to be ministers of his new covenant. This is a covenant, not of written laws, but of the spirit. The old written covenant ends in death, but under the new covenant, the spirit gives life. See, here's the thing that I love that Paul is saying to us today. Being a Christian, well, your very life begins to change. It's not just something you believe, but your whole lifestyle evidences your belief. And it's relational. It's not so much a legal relationship with God. We have that. We've been justified in his sight. But it's also a genuine, an authentic, a real, and a personal relationship with God. Today, let me encourage you to take joy that not only does God love you, but you, if your faith is in Christ, you are his son, you are his daughter. He is the one in whom you find your identity, your purpose, and your meaning.